Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we'll just be continuing uh, the class quest for my Conjurer, and maybe a little bit of main story quest as well, although the main focus is going to be getting the Conjurer class quest line up to date, as we've been falling quite a bit behind with that lately. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Greetings, Alaric. Each time we meet, the part of the Conjurer befits you ever better. In your previous lesson, you learned about the element of Earth. It is my desire that you next become acquainted with the Wind. Travel to Full Flower Comb in the East Shroud and seek the teachings of Hera Wolf Wolfiu. Though scant few years have passed since her coming of age, Wolfiu is a Conjurer of consummate skill who is able to divine the will of Air Elementals with uncommon clarity. I can recommend no better tutor for your lessons in the Mysteries of Wind. Right, so that was in the East Shroud. I don't believe we've been to the East Shroud yet, have we? Um, it was yeah, definitely East Shroud. Uh, yes, we haven't been there yet. New uh, scenery. Uh, Bent Branch is Bent Branch Meadows. Not sure what part is that in. Let's have a little look. Uh, no, we don't want that. Let's see, Black Shroud. Uh, Black Shroud. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Is it, yeah, it's in Central Shroud now to get to East Shroud. Um, yeah, I was tempted to go for the main story quest again on the Bent Branch. But as I say, I really want to get these uh, Conjure quests up to date. Uh, actually, yes, suppose we could teleport to Bent Branch, uh, see if that gets us maybe a little bit closer to uh, the East Shroud travel point. Right. Right. Uh, that's the quest. Oh, wait, where the heart is that uh, quest? Right there. We'll uh, tell you about uh, player housing, but I'll go into that in a uh, mini episode, perhaps sometime. Right, so we just need to go up there to the northeast. Right, uh, not the clearest of paths to get there, so just off road it, I guess. <laughs> Still on course, yep, as soon as we join this road, heading north, turn to the east and then we should be back on track. Right, just along here. In some ways, I'm kind of hoping that there isn't going to be any uh, hunting log targets along the way, as uh, I don't really want to distract too much from getting these conjurer quests up to date. I'm a little bit obsessed, aren't I? <laughs> Such a long walk without a uh, mount. <laughs> Hopefully it shouldn't be, yeah, not much further now at all. Right, where are you? Up here. You must be Elric, brother Sumi and sent word to expect you. It shall be my pleasure to instruct you on the patterns of gusts and gales. Now, how to proceed? Pray forgive my hesitation. It was but recently that I attained the title of Hera and, well, you are my first student. Hmm. Ah yes, I believe I have a suitable task for you. To the east of Sweet Bloom Pier, there is a small spring, giving rise to a pool. Go there and clear the air of the honeybee swarm which lately took up residence in the area. You seem uncertain. 
Mayhap you wonder at the connection between my request and the subject of your study? I sympathise, Alaric, but trust me, inexperienced though I may seem, this deed will deepen your understanding of wind. Okie dokie, go and kill a few uh, bees. Uh, just up here. Uh, Alright, we don't need that urgently, just thinking how to rearrange my bars a little bit better. Very slowly, yeah, we'll need that eventually. Put that on the second bar. Right. Oh. Hunting log target. I'm going to make an excuse that it's already half dead this time. <laughs> oh wait, it's still not quite finished. Ah, oh, there it goes. And where did that other one go? It just disappeared before my eyes. Wait, did he run over here? <laughs> and I'm sure I saw another one around here. Was it uh, you, the Hornet Swarm? No, it wasn't the Hornet Swarm. Was Northern Vultures. So we should have two out of three of those fellas now, shouldn't we? Uh, wait, oh, zero out of three. Yeah, so I guess the purple health bar uh, targets don't count towards your target log, even if you do get a little bit of uh, experience from them. Right. Bees. Right, so is that everything? It seems like it was. Let's uh, head back to uh, the person we were just speaking with. Oh, Northern Vulture. I was happy to ignore you, but you just had to attack me. <laughs> Big dude. <laughs> I'm liking that name. <laughs> uh, one out of three. And this shouldn't count, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, one out of three. So purple guys definitely don't count towards the hunting log. Welcome back. I take the bees on no more. Tell me, did you happen to notice many of the Vilkins preferred flowers in the vicinity of the spring? I ask because there were none. Strange then, is it not, that the bees should choose to congregate there? And what has caused this aber ab aberrant behaviour? Still your mind and reach Still your mind and reach out of your senses. Can you feel it? The path of the wind veers from its natural course, sweeping hapless creatures along in its wake. Something is playing havoc with the air currents. Such a disturbance bespeaks corruption. Return to the spring, yes, sweet bloom, please. Return to the spring, yes, sweet bloom, Pierre, and search for pockets of corrupted air. Should you find one, use your powers of conjury to disperse it. Uh, so uh, tongue-tied today with uh, so many words. <laughs> Wait, we're going back here again? Ah! Leave me alone! <laughs> who? Who attacked me? Somebody attacked me. Uh, is it definitely you? Okay. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, we're probably going to have to soak that hit. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Right. Right. 
right. Uh, wow, this guy is taking a lot of uh, damage, seemingly. Uh, I guess we should probably try and kill off these smaller ones. Oh boy, is that another third one spawned in already? <laughs> it is. Uh, actually, I wonder, will it be enough to just... Oh, who's healing me? What? Uh, oh, I didn't know she was with us on this mission. Oh well. <laughs> own personal healer. <laughs> oh, the sky is probably going to hurt. Wolfie, why are you not here? Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Was the big guy really dead? I thought he had a bit more health than that. <laughs> well done. The wind no longer keens its frustration. Let us return to full flower. Right, uh, yep, just back to the same location. Just might as well grab one of these vultures on the way. Should be my last hunting log target. Right, just keep heading back. Uh, actually, how is our hunting log coming along now? Uh, pretty full. Midgey swarm in the north shroud. And we are currently in east shroud. I think we've been in north shroud before, haven't we? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, uh, I think there was a way to check. Oh no, it just tells you uh, the actual location. It doesn't have an option to show you it on the map when you go through the hunt log itself. Never mind. I must apologise for exposing you to such danger. The corruption was greater than I anticipated, but it is through such trials that we flourish as conjurers. Now then, Elric, what did you learn as you struggled within the air's grasp? You will doubtless have noticed that wind does not strike with the instant crushing force of earth. Instead it torments one's form, dancing across every surface and leaving a thousand tiny wounds in its wake. Those are the agonies of erosion. Having experienced such pain, you are now intimately acquainted with wind's capacity for patient destruction. No land is a stranger to its power. When you stand under distant skies and you feel the wind's familiar caress upon your skin, you remember the lessons you have learned here this day. Hmm. I suppose I should be grateful that this latest elemental disturbance manifested itself at such an opportune time. Only the gods know what I would have taught you had it not, yet the growing frequency of such phenomena begins to concern me. While it's true that the calamity wrote much harm upon the Twelveswood, I suspect some of our forces at work here. I bid you remain wary, Elric. But enough of these ominous rumblings. I regret to say that your time with me is at an end. Return to Stillglade Fane and inform Brevi Sumi Yan of your newfound mastery. Oh, and be sure to thank him for sending me such a willing first student. Okie dokie. Uh, first, though, we're going to grab the Hawthorne Hut Etherite so that we can travel back here a bit easier in the future. Well, I know not to keep an eye out for uh, the last entry of my hunting log out here, because as we uh, noted, it was in uh, North Shroud, and we're currently in East Shroud. 
Wonder does it tell me what's no I can't even check the next uh level, the next rank until uh we have the first page fully complete. Ah, grab the uh Jacobo keep while we're here as well. And then uh we can use this uh destination to travel from by Jacobo. Right, um, tell you what, we'll have a little Chocobo ride back to town, just so that you guys can see what it's actually like. Um, our Chocobo Porter, Port Porter, Porter. Right, Gridania, fifteen gil, two minutes time. Dismounting Porters. I thought they said you couldn't do that. Uh, while mounting the Chocobo icon will appear in your status effects bar. You can, ah, right, I see. So it's just uh, must been added since uh, some sometime after the quest introducing them was uh, put into the game. Because I'm pretty certain they said that you couldn't get off them, but never mind. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. It's uh, really no. Wait, is that the same as? Oh well, never mind. We'll figure that out at a later point. Why we've got two bars that are exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> love the Chocobo ch Love the Chocobo music. I'm not sure if I would say this was my favourite version of the uh, Chocobo music from the series, but uh, it's definitely pretty nice. <laughs> Should be arriving any moment. Mm, a little bit longer. Uh, just a quick one, you see Death to the Beam Thieves here, as soon as we put that to one side for the time being and we're not particularly interested in uh, having it over here on our duty list, uh, we can just click there and that should, nope that didn't hide it, ah there we go, second press and it hides it, that just tells you that it's hidden from the air list, you still have it in your quest log obviously, so yeah, just provides one little less distraction. So, uh, over to the Conjurer's Guild, uh, there we go. Okay, Mr. Isumi-yan, we've, uh, learnt about wind. Welcome back, Elric. The elementals inform me that you have opened your ears to the voice of the wind. That is well. Having made allies of two elements, you are well on your way along the path of conjury. Though full comprehension of these forces will only come to you in the fullness of time. Be patient. As you seek to embrace nature more fully, so will nature hold you more closely. They made you study wind. Why bother? You don't need wind to heal things, whatever those dreary lessons tell you. Conjury is inextricably bound with nature, Sylphie. That dreary lesson is one you should have learned by now. Mm. I assume by your presence here that you have once again abandoned your tutors. You must understand, if you persist in casting spells without the proper knowledge... I have all the knowledge I need! My mother never needed to embrace nature to heal, and the people she helped were thankful for her art. 
I'll learn Conjury the same way she did and become just as great at Conjurer. You'll see. But I didn't come here to argue with you, Brother Sumi. I want to tell you that I've discovered how to cast rays. How? What were you thinking, girl? You know not what you do, what you risk. You are meddling with forces beyond your comprehension. Should you even attempt to use that spell, I will have no recourse but to strip you of the name of Conjurer and banish you from our halls. Do I make myself clear? Why must you be so angry with me? It's not as if I were trying to hurt anyone. But that's... Uh, Sylphie, my dear child, that is precisely the point. My apologies, Elric. I hope you do not find these constant disruptions distracting. As you have just heard, Sylphie's mother was also a conjurer, a conjurer who was unable to use any spells outside of the sphere of healing. Needless to say, Sylphie seeks to emulate her in every way. It is a rare and wondrous talent to heal without relying on the energies of nature, but such power is not born of true conjury. By all that we know of the art, it should not be possible for Sylphie to cast rays. I shudder to think what would happen if she tried. I fear my inability to set her upon the true path reflects my own failings as a teacher. I am only glad that those same failings have not hindered you. Whether it be with my help or in spite of it, I believe that you will become a fine conjurer. Already you are blessed with great power and more shall be yours should you persevere with our art, as indeed I hope you shall. Yet however much you grow, however powerful you become, remember that ours is a power borrowed, not taken. Before you depart, I would speak with you of one further matter. Thus far, you have completed three tasks to my satisfaction. I would officially recognise your efforts by granting you leave to join the other guilds. Gridania is home to guilds representing lancers, archers, leather workers, carpenters and botanists. Should any of these paths appeal to you, you are free to seek membership at the associated establishment. I but ask that you bear one thing in mind. While man is given to curiosity and won't to explore new paths, only through focus may you attain true enlightenment. Naturally, it would please me most if you placed Conjury above other pursuits. Regardless of the path you choose, however, I have every confidence that your deeds will be the honour of all concerned. Go now, Alaric, and seek your destiny. Ever shall the earth meet your footfall, and the wind guide your path. And now I've accessed the armory system, unlock other quest cl other classes can be undertaken. Uh, right. Uh, there exists myriad disciplines in Eosia. Uh, I just recommend that you focus on mastering your current class, naturally. Right, uh, let's see. Gloves, I'm thinking. Uh, intelligence and ma Oh, so that definitely an upgrade the gloves. What about the boots? Intelligence and uh, boots are a good upgrade as well, I suppose. Uh, the headpiece. Can we bring our. No, we can't bring up our character sheet at the moment. Uh, vitality, intelligence. We're going to stick with the gloves, I think. And also, that new staff should probably be equipped. Right, gear sets. Uh, that's it. Allows you to save several different sets of equipment for the change easily. Uh, very convenient. How to register with a plus button. We'll just uh, go over that really quick. Go on to your uh, character screen. And gear set up at the top here, gear set list. Got none available. We'll create one. Automatically creates one based on what you're wearing if you haven't got one. And also recommended gear here with the little sparkles. You can click on that. And that'll uh, tell you that the Maple Crook, I think that's the item that I just received from that quest. And the gloves and the bone ring are improvements. So just equip and automatically equip those. Then what you want to do, update gear set. So that changes over here and remembers that you've actually changed that set. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Right. Where were we going next? Uh, on to Bent Branch. Bent Branch Meadows. We have the teleport location for there. So we shall use that. <laughs> right. Uh, as I said, that's for the quest for housing. So we'll leave that for another time. Uh, right. We're heading this direction, it seems. Uh, that's a side quest, almost mistook it for the Chocobo Porter. 
So, as I said, we're going to try and stick to the main story quest line from now on. You must be the venturer Mune sent word about. I'm Kiva, head wrangler around these parts. I've heard many and more things about you. Good things, lest you worry. When the Elder Seeds here bid us welcome venturers, tis fair to say we had our doubts, till hard work and folk like yourself set about proving us wrong. That is... It's, it's, consider me a convert. Any route, you've a mind to help out at the ranch, have you? Good. We could always do with a hand or two to keep the place running smoothly. As a matter of fact, I have a task right here that wants doing. Let me know when you're ready to get busy. Oh, and you come highly recommended, so don't go letting no one down, eh? Uh, let's see, pants. I think those should be an upgrade for what I've got. Uh, yes. Seven hells. Some bastard Quaikwen has gone and broken one of Michikobo eggs. The filthy little thief was busy looting the barn when a guard startled it, prompting the damn thing to drop the egg it was clutching and run. Some of the lads gave chase, bless him, but when three more of the vermin appeared, Milot had no choice to turn back. Something has to be done about those Quaikwen. Would you mind heading over to Matron's Leaf and having a word with a soldier named Rosaline for me? The rat man nest in her neck of the woods, see? She'll know what to do. Right. Uh, have a quick look at the map for a moment. Uh, okay, it's behind us. Right. Where's my sprint gone? There it is. <laughs> mm, those diamites. Hopefully they won't be... Uh, on the path too much to interfere. <laughs> You're here on Kifa's behalf? Hmm, I see. Broke one of her eggs, you say? And there were four of the creatures? The Quake weren't our nuisance at the best of times, but we must now add trespass and Chocobo murder to their list of transgressions. They are forced our hand. Our retribution must needs be swift and decisive. And who better than you to deliver it, adventurer? Find the lair to the west of here and make an example of exactly four Quaikwin scramblers. We can send no clearer message. Okay, so that's just over here at the west. Let's see, I'm not seeing them yet. Uh, there's one. Nope, I thought you were dead. There, that should finish you off. And you can have one as well. Right, that's two of them down. Let's get these two, I think. Seem to be the least likely to uh, pull other mobs if things go pear-shaped. <laughs> After we've killed this guy, I think we'll be uh, heading back to town and uh, finishing up the episode as we're coming quite close to the half an hour mark, although I've got a feeling it might be slightly over. Oh. Right, let's get a quick heal before we head out. And done. Right, so you would just... Uh, how do I get back up there again? Is it? Oh, right, it's back here. Can we climb up this side, or do we have to go the long way? Uh, nope, we can. <laughs> Deed is done. Good. A grim task, but a necessary one. You have shown them the folly of insight and the wrath of those who will consort with adventurers. Perhaps now the Quaikwen will think twice before giving in to their larcenous proclivities. 
Okay, um, I'm guessing... Should I take the chest piece? Um, what's... Uh, intelligence one, mind one... It's a definite upgrade if we use the hat with it as well, I think. So we'll actually take the chest. Right. So, uh, where's our stats? 54, 55. And if we equip that and that, that should be not a huge increase, but it's definitely increased. One point extra in each uh, stat by swapping from our hoodie. Uh, gloves, we've just going to have a quick check through that. Uh, oh, wait, these pants should probably be on, shouldn't they? Uh, item comparison. Intelligence. Yeah, those should definitely be. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it this way. I'm just breaches. So there shouldn't be anything else that we've missed. And update the gear set. All right. So that's our next uh, main story quest. But we're going to leave that for the next episode. So we'll see you guys next time.